at a facility in Poland last week, specialists from Cambodia showed Arseniy Dyatchenko and his colleagues at Ukraine's state emergency service how to use the mining equipment. Dyatchenko demonstrates how the Japanese-made advanced landmine imaging system, or ALICE, works. You can see the metal object inside the ground. The special lines after the GPR scanning and uh, I think it's a PMN2 anti-personal blast mine. It's digging more than two centimeters inside the ground. And if you look at the screen, you have to de determine is it mine or it's just a piece of metal. Advanced mining equipment and support are critical for Ukraine. According to Ukrainian government estimates, unexploded mines and munitions resulting from Russia's war on Ukraine can be found in 40% of Ukrainian territory. Our urgence is a, a PPE, personal protective equipment, the mining machines and especially metal detectors like the Alice. The Cambodian Mine Action Center is training the Ukrainian deminers. After sessions in Cambodia, the group traveled to Poland to finalize the training. Cambodian Mine Action Center Deputy Director Aum Famru explained that Cambodia has been dealing with the landmines and unexploded ordnance resulting from the nearly three decades of war that ended in the late 1990s. Over the past decade, the experienced Cambodian deminers have worked in numerous countries in Africa and the Middle East. Ukraine has to have uh, expertise training, equipment, and um, support from other countries to solve the problem because I, we can see that uh, they will have a lot of problems after the war ends, um, considering the situation there. So I think it will be a big problem. Despite aligning with Russia and China, Cambodia joined nearly 100 United Nations member countries in co-sponsoring a resolution condemning Russia's invasion. Cambodian specialists have been involved in a demining project with support from the Japanese government and developers. Alice developer Machioki Saito said that Ukraine would probably require a substantial number of the devices in the coming years. Even after the war is finished, maybe mine clearance operation have to have to continue maybe more than 10 years. So to speed up this operation, I, I, I really hope that uh, Alice can contribute someone. Ensuring the safety of the land remains a complex and expensive long-term endeavor. Several countries, including the United States, Germany, Canada and France, have provided the mining assistance to Ukraine. Japan this year allocated $45 million to support the mining initiatives in the Eastern European country. Recent estimates from the United Nations and the Ukrainian Ministry of Economy suggest that cleaning the existing hazardous materials in Ukraine could cost over 30 billion and potentially take decades to complete. Miroslava Gongadze, VOA News, Legionovo, Poland.